Okay. So this is Kaja, Kaja Veo. He's the owner of Thompson Place Auction Gallery. We're going to talk to him a little bit. We don't have a lot of time. He's going up to the podium shortly. But you've been here for about how long, Kaja? 16 years we've been doing it in this building. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And you've had some pretty great pieces come through here. We have. Yep. Our highest uh, 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 highest uh, item so far has been 605000 And what was that? It was a, um, a painting that was found in an attic locally. And uh, the one was hoping to get, you know, maybe ten thousand for it, and yeah. we set the world record by ten times over what one had brought by the same artist. Wow. Joseph De Camp is the artist. De Camp, yeah. sure, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, excellent. Yes, and then we sold a fireboard that was found, an overmantel painting in a fireboard, 18th century piece, that was found uh, in a, um, a home in Yarmouth, Maine. I found it in the basement, tucked between some screen doors, and that brought six hundred and five thousand. Holy so we've God. yet to break the six hundred and five thousand dollar. Now, did you know limit. what it was when you saw it? I did. You did? Yeah. Yeah. We. Had, I so estimated. A trained eye. I estimated at two to three hundred thousand, but it was the rarest uh, and best uh, two-piece fireboard set ever found. It's now in a museum. Now you do something special too, besides the auctions. I think it's what every Tuesday. Tuesdays. Yes, we have the only uh, rolling appraisal lab in the world, actually, mm -hmm. uh, which we designed uh, two years ago, and we take it out and we use it as a vehicle to do fundraisers for different organizations. Uh, we've done animal shelters, and we've done libraries, we've done historical societies, and we've done uh, museums, and we've done uh, charities, other charities. Uh, but it's a great vehicle to do it with. And, we and you do, offer free appraisals. Correct? We do. We do a free appraisal. We bring the bus, and uh, usually John and I, the two executives of the company, do the appraisal work. Uh, and then the, the organizations can charge uh, or take donations for mm -hmm. our work and they keep the money. Now how does one find out about the different locations you're going to be at? Um, usually it's on, we now have it on our website at uh, thomastonauction.com. Uh, and uh, but we have uh, last year we did like 30 something of them. This year we calmed down a little bit. We're doing only about 10 or 12. Now next month you have a really Big auction. August, mm -hmm. August, yeah. We yeah. have the biggest uh, auction that's ever been held in these buildings. Uh, it's probably going to run somewhere between two to four million easily. Yeah. And some of the greatest stuff. And there will be some world records broken and, and some records. And we're going to cover that auction. We're just going to be here for the one particular piece that we have on consignment. But we will be back in August and we're going to cover that auction. Uh, maybe you can tell us about a couple quick pieces that are going to be in there? Yeah, we have a, a never before found or seen uh, figural Martin Johnson. Heat. It's a genre painting of two young street urchins in Rome when he was in Rome in 1848, and uh, there's never been one for sale. We also have a 10 foot long Joseph Camp oil painting, and there's never been a mural ever offered for sale, nor are there any others in existence that are known. Well, Clayton Pennington said that you are really known for your ability to acquire great artwork. Yes, we are. Yeah. I've been doing art since I was 12 years old. How about that? So it's almost 40 something years. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been doing the auction in the business for almost 40 years. Yeah. Well, to be in the art world, you have to have passion for it. You, you can't do. just be oh, a yeah. No, no, you can't. You have yeah. to be passionate about it. We work all the time. You know, it's my business, it's my hobby, and it's my, um, you know, my calling to do this work. Yeah. And I love sharing the information with people, and you know we have uh, free appraisal days here every Tuesday uh, at the gallery, so people can come and bring in things and, and make discoveries and dispel rumors and yeah. you know, find out that the things they bought at yard sale for five dollars are worth a dollar or fifty thousand, <laughs> right. and they do. Yeah, and they do. We have made well, some fantastic discoveries here. Well, I think that's, that's an good. invaluable service. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. So that's terrific that they offer that, and hopefully this is the man that's going to help us realize a pretty decent price for our car table. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you at the auction. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thanks. We have a nice uh, mahogany Massachusetts uh, Hepplewhite Demi Loon style table in beautiful finish. It's all been hand polished with the, the central urn in the center, all multi inlaid, string inlaid down the legs. They don't come any better than this. A lovely table. Look at the inside of this. All single plank. All single plank mahogany swing leg card gaming table or card table may have $500 set in. $300 where instead of $300 on a nice table. $300 on a nice vintage table and $300 where instead of in. Where's our card table people today? That's no money for that. And 300, where instead of 300? Nobody wants that table? 300 I have, 300 I have, now 400, 350. 
No money. 350, 400. Still for nothing. 350, 400. You can't buy used furniture for this. I have 350, now 400. Gonna sell it. 350, and $400, and 350, 400. Thank you. And now four and a half. Wouldn't work so hard if it wouldn't work so much more. I have $400 only in that lovely gaming table. I have $400 on the other $400. Gonna sell it. Only $400. Wow. Sleeping on that. I have $400 only. $450 if you'd like it. We all in all done it. $400. 400 number 26. Ooh. The 20th century folk art carved wooden roosters. These are fun. These, these are by the same people that did the dogs and the, and the, um, the uh, human heads on the wooden carved roosters. And maybe $100, $100 I have, one and a half, 200 dollars I have, one and a half, two hundred, two hundred where? I one and a half, now two, last only one and a half, and two hundred dollars on two hundred dollars over there. Ahead of you, now two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, quickly. Two and a quarter, yes, no. Two and a quarter, two and a half, ma'am. Two and a half, two seventy five. Two seventy five, three hundred. That's only hundred dollars a piece. I have two seventy five in the back of three. I have two seventy five and three hundred, and one for three hundred. I have two seventy five. Way in the back of two seventy five and three hundred on the roosters. Seth. Seven twenty five. 725, 800, another fantastic couple white card table coming right up. This one, Oxbow front in Mojave, a nice spring inlay all the way around. Square taper legs, square taper legs on that one. Nice old one there with a swing back leg. All been refinished, ready to go in the house tonight. French polish, ready to go. Should be uh, five to seven hundred. Who started out with a five hundred dollar bid? Five hundred dollars with five to three hundred dollars to go on a period table. Three hundred bid now three and quarter. Three hundred now three and quarter. Three three and quarter. 300 bid now, 3 and quarter, 300 now, 3 and quarter. I'm at 300 all bid, no one 3 and a quarter, 3, 3 and a quarter. Is that a bid? 3 and a quarter, 3 and a half, 3 and a half, 375. 375 on the period card table. There's Sarah, no money in the table. Fractured value, go 375. Spring and light all over the place. 375 is the bid now, 400 where? 375 on the lady, 400 if you like it. Nice trade, your way. 375, 139. Well, today was a lesson in how auctions work. You know, you never know if you're gonna have the right customers there for your table and you always hope for the bidding war. Unfortunately for us, it just didn't work out that way. I was really hoping to get at least twice what we got for that table. But the auctioneers described it well and I'm sure the customer that bought it is very happy with it. So this week we were able to show you the antique show in Booth Bay and the Thomaston Auction Gallery place here in Thomaston. Hope you enjoyed the show and we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot.